Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. We're out here in Phoenix, Arizona at the Arizona Biltmore, and I'm here with Fred. Fred, what's your last name? Yakel. Yakel. And Fred's got an interesting car for sure. I'm going to grab the cameras I usually do, but before I go, Fred, what, what year and kind of car is this? This is a uh, 1964 uh, Bill Thomas Race Cars Cheetah. Uh, probably a lot of you have had Cheetah slot cars, but this is the full-size, full real car. Because you wanted a real size hot rod. <laughs> so, so, yes. so with that being said, how did you get this car? What year was it? I got the car in uh, 1989. Um, I had a Ferrari Lusso that I didn't want to sell. And I, a guy finally said, well, how about trading? And I can trade you something and give you some cash. And that's the bad thing to tell a car guy. <laughs> so so to, get, to get rid of him, I says, I want a Cheetah. And this was on a Saturday afternoon about 5. I figured, he's gone because he won't even know what it is. On Tuesday, I get a call and this guy says, do you want a coupe or a roadster? Now, there's only one roadster. <laughs> I'm dead. So, long story short, we made the deal. And here, and here it is. And there's how many of these real cars like this are there? Approximately eight or left. Uh, eight or left. I was fortunate enough to be able to be involved with the Dixon Cadillac Cheetah in 64 and 5 because our family was also in the Cadillac dealer uh, business. I drove the Dixon Cadillac car at Willow Springs uh, in February 65, when it was still a small block. This is a real treat because you've heard of these cars, you just don't see them. So let me grab the cameras. Okay, you okay. Let's take a look at our featured attraction. So Fred, come right alongside me. All right. And let's take a look at a real cheetah. Now, this is almost like uh, a little bit kind of like the Loch Ness Monster. You've heard of it, but you rarely see it. Yep. And uh, people have... This is the full competition model. It's not the street car. Um, most of the cars were actually the competition cars. There are at least five of those. And you shared with me this car doesn't come out to car shows. Uh, no, we, uh, vi we vintage raced this car pretty much a whole lot since I got it. If you'll notice, they are drum brake cars. All of the cheetahs in period had drum brakes. The first one that with disc brakes was in 1968. This is a dual air meter Rochester fuel injection. The regular Rochester injection, the problem was they don't pass enough air. So Bill Thomas added a second one on top and now it passed enough air that you could use the 377 motor. So is this oil and that's fuel? Or no, they're both fuel. Both fuel. Both fuel, side fuel tanks. The car originally had a fuel tank also in the rear, 10 gallons on each side. If we think about it from today's safety standards, they're right over the exhaust pipes. <laughs> and the original fuel tanks were fiberglass. Uh, we've since replaced them with aluminum tanks, fuel cells, bladders, all the, all the stuff we do now. Now the race cars only had two tail lights, the street cars had four. Absolutely wonderful. Can we open the uh, door, please? Sure. Thanks. The car as it sits now is the way that it was when it ran uh, Mossport in 1965. Just the way it was, and I'm not going to jump in it because it's so tight. But let me just show you. There are some extra instruments were added when the prior owner had put it on the street. Really? Uh, I was fortunate Jerry Grant signed the uh, tunnel hump for me when we ran the uh, uh, LA street race, the one and only time that had it. And then there's just the one, and this is how to start it. Uh, well, no, that's basically uh, all the different switches and what they do and the lights that come on. All right, let's, uh, let me just show the inside of that door. That door is... Is, I'm assuming very light. Yes. Okay. Th this one is there's an outer door panel and an inner door panel uh, to try to get extra air oh, yeah. in the crew at, sure. at uh, Allen Green Chevrolet drilled holes and made little scoops on top. Okay, so it's blowing air on you. Okay, very good. Trying to. Trying to. <laughs> I'm assuming this car is pretty hot with this engine right in your lap. Yes, so it, it tends to be pretty warm inside. So let's uh, let's open the hood, shall we? Sure. And this is a process. We ready? Uh, 
Not yet, because we don't have enough. I have a prop rod. <laughs> All right, let's hit. We're going to have you hold it. Bill, or Fred, can you um, start it? Let me just take a look at the engine before we do that. Well, another key. Good chance we're out of gas. We're out of gas. <laughs> we're out of gas. All right. Gas. That's okay. Yeah. Sorry, but you that's all right. Let me just get this side. We're doing what we can do. Maybe we'll have to run out and get you some gas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when the fuel pump runs and it doesn't stop, that means we're out of gas. Yeah, okay, no problem. I know that sound. <laughs> Would have been great to hear it, but obviously we're doing the best we can. Hey, Fred, great card. Thanks so much for coming out to the Arizona Concourse. Thanks for being on my car story. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for having me.